Welcome to Step Into the Story. Incredible conversations of how the Bible changes lives, changes families, and changes communities across the globe. And here's your host, Phil Tuttle of Walk Through the Bible. Well, welcome to Step Into the Story minicast. I had an opportunity recently to sit down with Joe Rigney um, for an absolutely fascinating conversation. You need to listen to that entire conversation. But Joe, in addition to being a, a college professor and a president of a college and active in his local church, is also a husband and the father to three boys. Joe, you're currently coaching two of your boys in baseball. Um, I, I want to ask you, how does your theology impact what you do on the diamond and your view of what you're trying to build into your boys and the other players you coach? And what are you learning about yourself through your time as a coach? That's a, that's a, that's a great question. Uh, I actually wrote a chapter. I, I wrote a little book called Strangely Bright, Can We Love God and Enjoy This World? And there's an entire chapter devoted to treasure in the field. Uh, about my love of baseball, because it's one of the things of earth that I uh, most deeply enjoy. But the maybe a couple of dimensions, I mean, there's just the natural baseball dimension, you know, baseball is a great sport. It's a, it's a, a wonderful game is recreation, um, and all of that sort of stuff. But for me personally, uh, I'd say there's that that familial dimension. Um, in that uh, I'm trying to impart, I'm trying to train my boys in what it means to be a man. And all sports can do this for our family. Baseball is the one that does it. Um, there's the intense emotions that are awakened in it. Um, there, you know, the ambition, the competition, the drive for excellence, all of those emotions and victory or defeat. And, and baseball awakens those in my sons. And then I want to, those are all good, but they're dangerous. And so I want to train my sons in how to master their emotions, not let their emotions master them and to then cultivate um, godly virtues, humility, uh, patience, diligence, perseverance, joy, grace in victory and defeat. And those are the sort of things that, you know, they could read about, or I could, you know, give them a sermon, but there really isn't a substitute for actually living it. And so uh, I've seen my, my sons mature immensely uh, just in the, the day in, day out of, uh, of baseball, uh, baseball practice, baseball games. We've got tournaments this weekend. Um, we've had some really special times. My last year, my, one of my oldest son, he, his team won the state championship and he hit his first, uh, home run in the championship game. And it was a grand slam. It was, it was an epically amazing sort of, sort of moment as a family. Um, and so there's that bonding that happened. And then, um, maybe the last, maybe there's a lot of things I could say, but, but one of them would be even after all of that, after they won the state championship and it was this amazing, highlight of our summer i remember driving and uh had this kind of the good gut check moment where you say lord um you're better like jesus is better as good as that was it was amazing and i and i i basked in the glow of that championship and that 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 shared time with my sons for days and i was like and this is just the fringes jesus is better and uh, and so those those are the ways that I think baseball and other things like it can can stoke our our natural joy, so that they can lead us back to the ultimate joy that we have in Christ. Mm. Wow, better than a World Series ring, right there. Check out the rest of my conversation with Joe on Step Into the Story, and um, leave a review and um, let your friends know about it too. Thanks. Thank you for joining us for the Step Into the Story podcast powered by Walk Through the Bible. We'd love to hear what you think by giving us a review on iTunes or Google Play. Also, don't miss a single episode by clicking the subscribe button. If you'd like more resources to help you explore and live God's word in your daily life, visit walkthrough.org. That's W-A-L-K-T-H-R-U dot O-R-G. Walk Through the Bible. Take a walk, change the world.